All right, if you see this full view not available, you know what um, what that is. If you're trying to view your cameras while you're driving um, and you can't, you look at the rear camera, you see this box here, and that box just happens to be in the area where you'd want to see, like the car behind you. It covers up the car or something, and it's not just not in a very good spot, and it also you know, you almost have a full view of this screen except for that little box and it's kind of annoying. Um, so to get to that, uh, you hit your camera button up here and then you'll push the three, they call it a hamburger menu, push the three lines there and then you choose your camera for behind you and it says full view not available. I'm going to show you with a free program how you can get rid of this um, and it'll it'll um, make you a lot happier. So here we go. Alright, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but you go to foreScan.org and you click on this products link right here. And then you're going to click uh, foreScan for Windows and download and install that. And then you're going to... Um, click on get a free extended license so see download that and then click get a free extended license right here all right you're going to put in your username password or your email address and um, a license key that you will get once you open Forescan. so once you go open Forescan, once it's installed you'll see here you go down here and you'll get your license key or like a system ID so you'll need that and then you get a free license so um, that way this doesn't cost you anything all right next you will need a ODB2 reader it doesn't have to be the mongoose I happen to have the mongoose um, because I did some programming downloaded some updates and stuff for the Ford system you'll need something like that to do this to do that but you don't need a mongoose to do use foreskin there's a lot cheaper connectors that you can uh, use and I'll put one down in the link below so you can see um, what you need but these are fairly not this one this one's pretty expensive but the one I'm gonna put down in the link is um, fairly inexpensive and it'll allow you to access all the foreskin um, settings so you'll connect this to your diagnostics port which is under here. You'll see a white, uh, white port under there. And you'll plug that in. All right, and then you see we've got lights. I have the truck in um, just accessory mode. So the engine is not on, just um, accessory mode. So you just push the start button here without putting your foot on the brake. All right, so once you have Forescan loaded, you're going, and the uh, ODB controller connected, you're gonna click on this little icon down here at the bottom, and it's right there. It says connect a vehicle. Once you do that, it's gonna pop up with a, a message that says, make sure it's ignition is set to on you don't have to have it started just in accessory mode so you can push the button the start stop button uh, without your foot on the brake and then it will just go into accessory mode so then if you've already connected to your vehicle before you will see it pop up if not um, you won't see that so just click continue to connect you will see that it's loading a bunch of modules once it goes through all the modules and then you will see this word ready down here so now you know you can go to this little icon here that looks like a little square on its end it's like a little microchip processor um, and then here are your modules the one we're going to go into today is this APIM module here so you'll click on it single click on it and then you go down to the bottom here and you're going to click this little button that looks like a little play button. It's very tiny. It says run service procedure. And once you do that, then it will connect and show you all the options that you have. It's going to give you a, like a disclaimer. Hey, be careful what you change in here because you could break everything. 
So now you can see all these different numbers and all these little setting numbers do something. So you gotta just be careful what you're changing. Now there are pages and pages of codes here. So what we're gonna do is we are going down here to hit save all, okay? And we are going to save and save these settings just somewhere on your uh, computer. So we're gonna hit okay. All right, so what that did is it saved our current, all these settings as they currently are. So if for some reason you go in and mess it up, you can load them back and restore um, what you've done. So the setting we are looking for for this particular change is the 7D0-0202, okay? And we're looking at the fourth um, digit here. So in my case, it's a four. So I'm going to change that to a five. All right. So if yours is a zero, you're gonna change it to a one. If it's a four, you're gonna change it to a five. If it's a six, you change it to a seven. So it's that one right there. Mine was a four, I changed it to a five. Now I'm gonna go down here to the bottom and say write all. All right, it's gonna say, uh, you might have made a typo. I'm gonna continue anyway. I know if I mess it up, I can restore it. All right, you'll see it's doing things. After it's done, it's gonna tell you to cycle off the engine and back on again. So I'm gonna just press my button here turn it off and then I'm going to turn it back on all right so I'm gonna hit okay now all right so um, right now we're gonna check it and we're gonna see if it's working so I'm gonna click on the camera button up top, and here we go, you can see the screen. I'm gonna click on the little hamburger menu. That gives me access to all the cameras, and then I'm gonna click on the rear, the reverse one. And there you see the full view is not available, is gone. All right, so that worked. Now you'll wanna get out of this, so you'll hit the little stop button that's right next to it, it says stop service procedure, and then hit that. So that will stop the link connection uh, between that module and um, programming. So if you want to go back to see all the other things you can mess with, you can go up here to configuration and programming. So then you can choose another one. If you want to see the uh, command, the easy kind of user interface version, you can click the APM, the one that doesn't say as built. You click on it, go down to the bottom, and then hit the little play, run service procedures, and then say okay. All right, and now you can see that it gives you a lot of different settings, and it's either kind of enabled, disabled kind of thing, so it's a lot easier to figure out what you're gonna use, what, uh, what you're changing, and uh, just a lot easier to to change things in here and know what you're changing. But like I said, a lot of things don't, a lot of the numbered settings aren't in here yet. Now, as as they update Forescan, more and more get in here, um, are added to this list, but, and it goes on and on and on, so you can see. But there's a lot of things you can do in here. Just make sure you back up your config if you get in here and try to, you know, play around with some things. But I hope this video helped you out. If there's any other settings that you use Forescan for, let me know down in the comments below, and uh, maybe I'll make some more videos if it, if it helps people out. All right, thanks for watching. See ya. All right, you see we're going about 50, and I push the camera button here, and I do not have a box on the rear camera, so it is full view is available so there we go so there we go that uh, fixes it so please subscribe uh, give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful thank you